Well, or whatever I'm shooting. Bees. They're bees. I don't. I don't know how I forgot that they're bees. Uh, yeah. Well, that's what they're. I guess it's a bee gun, as you said. All right. Well, I don't know why are. I called it a butterfly. Uh, it's My here. monarch gun. So now we're inside somewhere. Dude, it's like a. I don't. I don't know what that is. Yeah, platforming is, uh... By the way, nobody likes this part of the game, by the way. Why? Well, it's the annoying platforming path. Huh. I was pretty sure you'd be on board with that. I, I thought this part this part has been pretty fun. What, doing the platforming everywhere? Yeah. It's interesting. It's a change of pace. It, it, I, I'm, I'm assuming that was the point, but it's, it's too annoying for it to be anything else, though. That's the thing. Because nobody really likes the platforming. It's just like there, you can tell that they've been like kind of difficult up to now. The platforming, so it is, it is honestly the weakest part of the game. But we're past, I think, a lot of it now. Yeah, let me, let me heal you. This, this place is really fucking dark for some reason right now. Yeah, I know. I thought that was just me. We're gonna no. change. Okay, I'm going up the elevator. What does here. this do? That's uh, that's a, one a healing chamber. Oh, okay, cool. I'm uh, I'm on the escalators here. Oh, I'm actually, I don't think I'm supposed to be there, and I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not actually dead. You're just close to being dead. Kill me. I'm pretty sure we're going, supposed to go to the other floor. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to go in there. Can you fucking heal me? Where are you? Where'd you even go? I fail. The hell? Yeah, I know, right? You see him, too? Yeah. He's just he just doesn't give me. a shit. All right, come come off here. Give me some heals. Yeah, boy. That thing doesn't actually make it all the way to the top there, which is odd. Yeah, that's what I I don't know where to go. No, no, you go on that this thing here. This thing goes oh. all the way down, and we hop on this. You gotta think outside the box, Pat. And then we want to go up, basically onto this platform, and then go across it onto the other side. So think outside the orange box. Fuck, I fail. Doesn't matter, I made it. Think outside the orange box. Right? Pretty much, yes. This planet sucks balls. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Come on! Oh, <laughs> uh, dude, and now he's like fucking. Oh god, what the fuck is that even? Oh god, <laughs> what's he doing? Oh, wait, are you here? Oh, dude, you can res me. No, you can't. Okay. Wow. Wow, what the hell? Let me just tell you this. He ki that guy killed me, and then he stuck his member inside of me. <laughs> oh, that lucky bastard. Yes. Basically, you know you know, you know, know what I mean. His third arm. Yeah. yeah. Like his literal third arm, obviously. Yes. It was the creepiest shit I've ever seen in this game. I li was literally looking at the fucking death thing. By the way, you know it doesn't go up all the way. Dude, I can't get off of it. L? Press L. There, oh, there go. we go. Oh, uh, God. That place sucked ass. Don't open those things. Why? I, I You haven't realized this yet, but those big enemies are actually in there. Oh. Yeah. Why? What uh, the fuck? How did what? I die? We both died. Thanks, game. So what are they being manufactured here? I I guess so. That's what's implied. I, I, by the way, you said that. I think that's something you never thought about. I I, I don't know. I I don't think I don't think too much about story things. But yeah, th there's a lot of like untold stories with this stuff. So I I guess they are manufactured. But yeah, um, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of story around. I guess like because you kind of wonder like. Like, how does this ever relate to Half-Life uh, 2, you know? And and there's actually yeah. a lot of story around that, uh, which I can maybe go into at the end. Oh, shit. I totally didn't do this right. Major fracture Fuck detected. this. I'm just going to fucking 
do this again. Cause I have like 3 HP, it's either- either I wait for my health to slowly come back, or I move forward and then die immediately to like the first thing I see, or we just, you know, try it again. And you're Fucking coming. shit, this alien- like literally, I just- I come down there and I'm dead. Yeah, you need to like, not, uh, you need to use like good weapons, Pat. I, I I brought out the rocket launcher and I tried to shoot him and I I guess I missed. I don't know. As I said, this is why this is essentially the weakest part of the game. Uh, not because you'd necessarily be repeating this shit over and over again. It's assumed that I guess you'd have like a quick save like over there somewhere, but it's just like it's it's not very good. So they actually didn't do like in the other games of. Uh, Opposing Force and Blue Shift, this place, Zen, isn't actually a huge component of it. Hmm, fair enough. I mean, it's technically not really that big of a component here, even. It just may feel that way, though. Oh, fuck, we're together. It's not good. You go first. Like, immediately what I normally do is I just go find a nice place to take cover in. You, you really need, like, high DPS weapons, and that isn't one of them. Where are you, Pat? I need, I need you to heal me. I'm in the healing pod. Okay. Getting wrecked by that guy down there. Come into the healing chamber, Pat. Alright. Well, let's keep going. Oh, there's some... there's a dude over here. Where do we go? Well, I'm, I'm I'm having a look around. Oh, you found uh, you found the yeah. way forward. But that is the checkpoint, as we know, because we're now playing right. on fucking survival mode. But if we were playing on survival mode, we would have restarted these levels a billion times over. Fucking shit. <laughs> so they apparently can stop you in midair. Oh wait, are you dead? Oh wait, yeah. you're so dead. Okay, where do you spot back at? Uh, the beginning. Yeah. I tried I to jump over that thing to get at them, and they can stop me in midair with their little lightning shit. It's too much platforming in this in this part of the game, so you just you really it's shouldn't not even be the platforming. It. It's just the going back. Well, as I said, in, if you're playing single player, you just quick save and quick load all continuously. Mike, I don't save scum. That's not my path. That's not my path. So every time you die in a single player game, you basically just you just start I go back it all. to where it auto saves. Yeah, that's uh, then this is not the game for you. No, anyway, I'm just killing everything along the way. And you think about it. Remember back in Grimrock, you could only like think about if you could only save at the crystals. That sounds awful. No, that's that's how the game is meant to be played. It's a shame you also don't get the barnacle uh, in this game yet. Barnacle. Yeah, the barnacle. Anyways, yeah, you can see these little things that you're supposed to go up eventually and things like that. You just try to make it to the top. By the way, by the way. Is Fair enough. By the way. I'm saying by, by the, the way, way. By the way. Yeah. By the way. By the way. Where are you up at? I'm uh, kind of back where I died. Okay, you want to just continue? Looks like you're making friends. Sounds like it to me. There you go. So just go up that little elevator thing, and then you're then you're with me again. You did it. Okay, just be careful with these things. Yes. Yeah, this one we unfortunately... This one we unfortunately have to pass by. Dude, uh, you're gonna have to heal me. Uh, where are you? <laughs> now all of a sudden it's super important. <laughs> I don't want to go back through that. Alright. Okay. Move. Open it. 
Oh fuck, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Fuck that. Oh god. Just stop throwing explosives. Heal me. <laughs> oh god. I did it, Mike. Alright, uh, I have no more thing for you, but there's a healing pod there. You should go to the healing pod. Go on to the healing pod, Pat. Okay. In I can't. This guy's fucking barrels in the way. Oh, okay, never mind. I got it. Yeah, you can make it. I can just get one life. There you go. <laughs> the <laughs> one life. Yeah. Mike, your score is the opposite of my score. 93 and 39. I, I, I don't know what you get points for, but I, I've noticed you get it for healing. Okay, you're good enough. All right, let's go to the alien ventilation shafts. They're all sparkly and everything. Dude, I bet it tastes amazing in here. Oh, yeah, no, it does. Like, it's all strawberries and, and bullshit. Actually, it could be just blood. You know, that, that is red. Yeah, but then what's with the stuff floating around in the air? But, but Pat, does that mean when you fucking... What? Uh, oh, you teleported here. I guess you won't... Not, you won't oh, okay, that guy's so dead. Ow. Okay, these things are fucking murdering my ass. I'm so dead. You wanna res me just in case I go all the way to the beginning? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh looks like we're fine. Oh, we're here. It's fine. <laughs> the game's nice enough. Who the fuck's shooting me constantly? One of those guys that's really high up in the air. Yeah, I know. I'm like constantly running out of health again. Pat, heal me. I'm like you. I just want to live. Okay, I'm gonna go into this this thing. No! Did you just fall off the entire thing? Yes. I wanted to get on it, but you blocked me. Don't fucking... You always blame me for this shit, Pat. Because it's totally your fault. This is a game where you have to be kind of... a little bit more careful. I, but I, it looks like the enemies are a little bit more difficult than this mod. <coughs> Maybe a little bit. Me. Just slightly, dude. So Okay, uh, that spinning is really disorientating. Yeah, I, I know. Sweet fucking Christ. How much do you actually want to explore here? Right, as much on. as you deem necessary, because I can't get the fuck off this thing, because this spinning is making okay. me dizzy. Yeah, I think you just want to get to this point of the... You just want to get off the get out of this part of the game. Be off this wild ride. Uh, yeah. I never thought I could get dizzy in a video game. This is after playing Psychonauts. Holy shit! You ever played Descent? Descent's pretty bad. Yeah, no, I never so, heard of it. There, these vents, though, there's vents that lead to like another part of the game, which is like, um, it's basically optional. So I'm good. Basically, your objective is to get to that top thing there. So just let me let me go one at a time. Alright. Fuck. Shoot the asshole. I'm dead. Holy Hold fuck. On. They just sprayed the fuck out of me. Because I can't really move here that much. I'm on this like th super thin platform. But that's okay, because I'm gonna just I'm gonna bring us to the end. It's all good. I'm right behind you, so I'm right. going too. We're, tr we're just trying to get into that thing. You want to get inside of it. That's all we're trying to do. Why does this thing spin so fucking much? That's how I did it. <laughs> Pat wow. fell or drowned or something. <laughs> fucking the hell, dude. We, we did it. It's fine. We made it to the next part. Dude, as I said, it just like the game just kicks it up a notch here. Yeah, but I jumped through it and I still died. Oh. Wow. Interesting where we are. Are you ready, Pat? The fuck? Where is We're gonna go meet Satan, Pat. Oh, okay. Like my childhood dream. <laughs> well, they just come true. 
It's like the devil from that movie Devil. It's the boss, Pat. Holy fuck! So, we're actually not supposed to just shoot him straight up, Pat. Do you see those crystals on the yes, side? Yes, something's see, weird with them. Do you see the crystals on the side? The yellow crystals? Yes. That are charging them up? Shoot them. Shoot them with rockets. Now, the thing about those things is that they're, like, the, the developers kind of meant it to be, it actually looks exactly the same thing as the, remember the thing you originally put into the game, uh, sorry, you put into the, uh, what is yeah. it? Yeah. You, you caused it basically the resonance cascade with it. It's meant to look like exactly like that. And also the green portals are going to teleport you somewhere. Did you tell? Did you, did you just get teleported somewhere? Yeah. Alright. Um, so that's one of his attacks. Is he'll, he'll move you into a room where you have to platform out of it. And it's super fucking irritating. No, but there's a lot of ammo and shit in here. I, although, I'm going to say now, these crystals do not look like they're blowing up. So maybe that's... Yeah, I shot him oh, no. a okay, bunch I and I, I thought... I got it, I got it. It's fine. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, if you make it into one of those other rooms, it's probably just easier for you to just die. Cause they'll just I think I'll just bring you back out here. Probably. Why do things have so much fucking health? I'm running out of fucking ammo for this shit. Did you make it back yet? Yeah, I'm trying to platform my way out. Fuck it, there's like a bajillion of these guys shooting me in here. Yeah, you're supposed to kill them all. It's it's not an easy final boss. I oh, you just died, so... Turn all the way back. These things... Okay, I died. Well... Let's see, but... Oh yeah, I am in your room now. There you go. I'll do it. So you're supposed to take them out. You eventually do handle it. Uh oh. He got you. He has attacks. Why does it look like he has a giant butt plug? <laughs> Probably because he does. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at what you're talking about. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh god, no, he sent me somewhere. I destroyed a crystal. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can deal with this. It looks like I'm just gonna die immediately here. <laughs> yeah, as I said, it's just like, you know, the minute we got to Zen, doesn't it feel like a completely different game now? Yeah, a little bit. Alright, did you get all the crystals? Yeah. Okay, so this is what happens now. His head is open. When you it when is? you go Yes, when you go onto it, now you just shoot shit into his brain. Head doesn't look open. Oh, he just fucking got me back into another place. Uh, and I, he literally teleported me somewhere where I'm gonna just die in one hit. Now imagine doing this without having to fucking respawn. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You got him. His head isn't open though. It's the same as it, before. It, it, it does if you, uh... It does if you go onto it. On top of him. With the things. That's what you're actually meant to do. You can actually crowbar him to death. See, it is opening. I'm gonna see if I can, I can get up there. He's actually immeasurably more difficult than the other boss. Or sorry, the, the normal boss. They've actually buffed him by a substantial margin. And he's shooting he's shooting everything he has at you. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> I'm already, I'm in a different spot already. Right, I'm gonna see if I can get on top of him. There you go, his brain's open now. Yeah, as I said, he always teleports you somewhere. I just electro. Yeah, as yeah, I said, I, I would just teleport into a place with water and no way out. Yeah, I I went to that one too, and I wasn't sure. Like you're supposed to solve it to get out of there, but it's just like S Van Co-op kind of ruins it in a, in its own way, just because it can. You can just don't have to. Do it. Yeah, there you go. You shoot the brain. There we go. We got it. We win. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting the full cinematic experience here. I want to get out of here.
There you go, Pat. You beat Half-Life, Pat. Oh my god, it's amazing. Yes. And it's green. It's sparkly. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. The border world, Zen, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. Medic! Take That's cover! That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my uh, employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anticlimax after what you've just survived. Time to choose. So what do you want to do? You want to work for him or no? Let's kick him in the nuts. We don't have anything to do that with. It's time to choose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work for him because that's canon. Mr. Freeman, I will see you up ahead. And that's the end of Half-Life, Pat. Well, that explains why Rise and Shine. Yep. This is the end of what we hear from uh, Gordon Freeman in the, in the game. So, what did you think of Half-Life 1, Pat? I kind of wish I could have kicked him in the nuts. Well, I don't know. I, I'm sure that's what Half-Life 3 is all about. It's just a simulator for kicking me in the nuts. Okay. Like, what happens if you choose to find him? Uh, you get teleported. You know those big dudes that we were fighting? We just get teleported on top of a bunch of them. They don't actually kill you. They just kind of stand around you. And then he's just like, oh, it looks like we won't be working together. And that's it. And then the game well, ends. Well, that's kind of stupid, actually. No, oh, it's either ending. It's kind of like, eh. Ah, well. Uh, what's this thing? S Vin Co op once. What the hell is this thing? I don't, I don't know. I don't know where we just. It just went to the Access next map in the list. Ready. Okay, well, this is just some other map. Um, so, let me just disconnect from this. So, uh, you, you, what'd you think of it overall? Just like, you know, it, it's, it's a different in, in terms of its storytelling, because as I said, most games copy it actually. Cause this was True. It just got. It just started to. It felt like it almost fell apart at the end. Not in a bad way. It's just like, as I said, it, it just changed. It was definitely the weakest part. Uh, because it was just like tons of platforming. So like, I, I'm not. We're not exactly. Nobody's really sure why it went in that direction. But it wasn't a bad game. It was still really good. And it was actually the modding which really made Half Life as great as it is. You know. So. Also, like, you'd have to play it yourself in single player because this is not exactly indicative of how your experience would be playing it on your own, you know? Right. So it's it's similar, but, like, you don't get the respawn, so you actually have to exit those puzzle rooms kind of thing. You're actually kind of meant to. And it's actually not as difficult. Um, the difficulty was ramped up in s Co for some reason. Uh, like, the crystals didn't die as easily. The monsters, like, just fucking rained hell upon you. Things like that, so... Uh, Honestly, it's felt like a lot of the time if I would die, it wouldn't be like, uh, it wouldn't be a prolonged conflict. It would just be boom, dead. Yeah, pretty much. But well, it, I guess that just comes from the difficulty, right? Yes, it is. Um, so there's still like 
uplink and two more uh, sorry three more games to do that we're gonna do i guess in uh soon guys so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh i guess uh you got have any final thoughts about the fun game just weird as a, this is the weirdest one like this is like I, I would say like opposing force is the strongest of all the half-life kind of expansions and right. blue shifts is still pretty good so and it, actually one of them is made by gearbox or both i forget i think sierra made one of them or something i think the uh the console the one that was on console first was made by gearbox yeah, but I think they did something. I don't know. I'll look it up and we'll uh, we'll explain it another time. So, guys, no, we'll okay. be we'll be doing opposing force next. And take care, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.